Today is a fun day because we're going to talk a little bit more in depth about how to use this large format camera, how we can actually take some pictures of it. And as you can see, I'm doing some sweet, fun, exciting stuff. And so we're over here, we are working on some still lifes. I find that it's a, a something that's easy to work with. And the reason that we're, we're working with still lifes today is because it's something that's fast I don't have to move around a lot so we can work kind of outside in the wild air yet we're not like downtown or doing anything like that so thanks for joining me today as we work with some still life photography let's get right down to it so to work this camera it's pretty simple remember we've already talked about loading the film into the film holders we have those film holders right here Today we're going to be taking some cool shots and here's how it works. We'll take the film holder for, we're just going to take one picture with this film holder so we're going to set it right here just so we have a space. We're going to use our nice little bulb and this will open the shutter as you can see in the front. It opens the shutter and then it'll close it when I let it go, okay? Now this is going to be pretty simple. Here's how it works. We need to first, we need to start out focusing. So we're going to close that bulb and open that shutter. And what that does is that gives us a chance to look back here at the screen and we can determine our focus using these dials right here. So we can focus that awesome camera. We can see how our shot is. We can make adjustments. We're gonna do with that wine glass right there. We can, oh yeah, that's so much better. Okay, so we can determine that this is the shot that we want. We can adjust the camera by moving it forward and back. There are some cranks down here on the bottom to adjust the side as well as the up and down. There's a little screw right here to loosen that. This type of a camera gives us lots of options for just making adjustments and doing some really fun stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna explain how to take a picture and we're just gonna do that right now okay cool so as you saw we have now taken care of the focus now that we have that we can close up this again so we're just gonna close the shutter and let that be ready now we need to do something pretty important we're gonna get out a phone or in this case the iPad and we're going to use an app and use it as a to just to make sure that our lighting is correct we want to make sure that we have the aperture set up. Now the film that we're using today is a great x-ray film and this film is at ISO 100 pretty much. That's a pretty basic thing for nowadays. So we're going to use an ISO 100 film and our time and our shutter speed is about one second, one, two seconds. So our shutter speed is two seconds. So what we're going to do is we are going to use the app on the iPad to take a quick reading. We're going to take a quick reading and we can see that at, let's see, we need it to be at one second, maybe a little bit more. So like one and a half seconds, I think is something that we can do. It looks like if we do one and a half seconds, we should be able to use F45. So the good thing is we have F45 with this lens. So today on this, this camera, we have a couple of different lenses, but today we're using this lens and I'll pull it out real quick. It's just a quick lens like this. This lens is a really nice lens and it has the option to do from f4.5 up to f45 so that's pretty good a nice a nice adjustment something that we can work with this type of lens is really kind of a uh, it's more of a okay this type of lens this is a carl zeiss lens and it is really for a it's a it's a longer more of a telephoto lens 
it's not so wide angle but this is great for this camera in this shots okay so we're just gonna put that back in here like so once we have that lens in then we've already made our focusing we already have our our camera set up for the shot we've determined everything now we are going to just adjust on the lens the aperture and we're gonna need that to go all the way up to f45 we've already checked out our framing everything looked good everything's fine so now we're ready to take our shot what do we do we take the film holder we make sure that the side that we want to take the we have two sides on this film holder this is the side that we're going to use today remember the last time i had talked about the little tabs on the top so we know that this is the tab that we're going to use we just insert that in the camera like so once we have that inserted in the camera then we just all we have to do is just make sure that everything's good okay everything's hold down tight we make sure this is very important we make sure that it's definitely closed our the shutter is closed and it's ready to go it's not going to expose our image before we're ready to so then what do we do well we just open that tab we pull out our dark slide like so we set that right up on top and we're going to take our shot it's that simple we pretty much took our picture now we're going to put the dark slide back in okay simple like this dark slide is in so now we're just going to pull that out now that we have that out we are able to set this on we can either flip it over and use the other piece of uh, negative that we have on this side or we can set it aside and start working on a different project